You are at a delivery with a maternal history of anhydramnios. Which of the following complications are you anticipating? So A, esophageal atresia, B, gastroschisis, or C, pulmonary hypoplasia. So when you see a question like this, it's talking about anhydramnios. And I don't know about you guys. Fortunately, I don't hear anhydramnios that often, but we do hear a lot of different types of phrases referring to the amniotic fluid. So there's polyhydramnios, which is the increased amniotic fluid, right? And when there's polyhydramnios, we're concerned about why would there be a lot of fluid? So fetal GI obstruction is a big one. So things like esophageal atresia or even duodenal atresia, they can have polyhydramnios because in utero, that fetus is constantly swallowing the amniotic fluid. And if there's an obstruction, then that's limiting that fetus's ability to swallow. And then we have oligohydramnios, so very little amniotic fluid. There are some, but little. So with those kiddos, we're worried about ruptured membranes and any kind of renal issue. So for some reason, the kidneys are not producing the urine or the urine's not getting out. So if there's a bladder outlet obstruction, like posterior urethral valves, there, then we could see oligohydramnios, but anhydramnios, it's like there is almost no amniotic fluid. So in those cases, we're really worried about renal agenesis. There are no kidneys and that will really affect the development of the lungs. So because the baby's normally swallowing and practice breathing the amniotic fluid, the different substances within the fluid, lecithin and sphingomyelin are really important for that lung development. And so if there is no fluid, then those lungs are not going to develop normally and we can have pulmonary hypoplasia. So with esophageal atresia, we would be thinking polyhydramnios, right? Because of that upper obstruction. And then gastroschisis, we could see elevated alpha fetal protein. So not necessarily how much fluid, but certain substances that are within that fluid, or when they draw mom's blood, they can look at these with the triple and quad screens. So elevated alpha fetal proteins, always, I think about any kind of open defect, whether it's a spina bifida or a gastroschisis or an omphalocele, they can see the elevated alpha fetal proteins.